Hey there, do you want to learn how to protect parts of your app so only logged in users can see them? You are in the right place. Today we are going to build a secure app with protected routes in React using TypeScript and Vit. I will walk you through every step and explain not just how to do it but also why we are doing it this way. So if you have ever been frustrated by tutorials that skip important steps, don't worry, I have got you covered. By end, you will have a rock solid understanding of how to implement protected routes and why it must have for any secure app. And hey, if you're using Next.js, don't worry, I have another video which cover how to use protected routes within Next.js as well. So before we dive into the code, let's answer this question. Why do we even need protected routes? So imagine your app has a dashboard. It should only be visible to users who are logged in, right? You don't want just anyone typing slash dashboard in the browser to see it. Protected routes act like a security guard for your app. If the user isn't logged in, the guard says, sorry, you can't pass and redirects them to the login page. And we are to going to build that security guard today. So first thing I have set up here, my React project, I used Vit. It's a blazing fast and makes working with React and TypeScript super smooth. So feel free to jump into their documentations if you're not familiar with it. And it's have very simple instructions to follow and install it to get you started. Now clean up the template as well so we can start from fresh. So all what I have at the moment is just app.tsx and there's nothing else here. And if I write in my browser, all what I have is a hello message. Okay. I cleaned up also the CSS and everything else so it doesn't disturb us during the coding. Now, next thing we'll create this odd system. So think of this as a central brain that knows if a user is logged in or not. It will also provide functions to log in and log out as well. So we will use for today React Context API for this, which is perfect for managing global states like authentication. So first thing what I will do is I'll create a context. So I'll go back to my code and I'll create a new folder. I'll call it context. Okay. And usually here, if you're creating any context APIs, you should usually follow this uh, folder structure and create a context folder and all your context should be beneath that folder. So I create this folder. Now I'll create a new file. I will call it auth context. .tsx. So next thing we want to do is import a few things from React. So we'll import the use context, also the React node, because I'm using TypeScript, so I need to um, add the type interface for everything I create. Now, next thing I want to do is create my context. So it's like the bucket which will hold all my context. So I'll declare a new variable. And you can call this anything you like. I'll call it auth context. And we'll use, use create context that we imported from React to create that bucket. Okay. And I'll set the initial or default value to undefined initially. And because I'm using TypeScript, I need to add a type interface here. So I'll call here, for example, auth context type. Okay and we shall define in a few seconds so i would say it's either accepting this type or undefined if you see we used here default values undefined so we should add that one also as a type expected now let's define our type so i'll call interface and that's my type and here usually you'll add the properties you'll be using so for today tutorial i'll be having uh three properties. So first one is a boolean that um, track if you are authenticated or not. And this again, you can call these properties anything you like, but our code is authenticated. And that will be a boolean. Then the next two will be functions. One is login function. Okay. 
and that will be a function which doesn't accept any argument and give me back a void because it doesn't return anything and also I need the logout function as well okay now I know what my context XPI is expecting so next thing now is to create our provider and usually if you're not familiar with context API it's two steps uh, thing you have to do first you create your bucket and then you wrap your app within this bucket so it have access to whatever information inside that bucket right so we create our context and then we create our provider which will wrap our app later with it okay so i'll say export const auth provider either which will accept children as we said we will wrap all our app within this provider right so to accept a prop which is children we need to add the interface as well here so that will be type react.functional component with a property of children children and this children will be of type react node that we imported from react right there okay so now we create our auth provider now let's see what functionality we need inside so basically, like we said, we need to track if the user is authenticated. And for that, we use the use state. Okay, so let's define our state. And our call is authenticated. And then also we need a setter function. So set is authenticated. And that will be equal to use state. And we will set the default value to false because, of course, you only this want to be true when you run some API or whatever, your logic, and then it will set it, check if your user is logged in, then set this to true. So the default value always should be false. Now, next thing is define our functions, the log in and log out. And for today's tutorial, we don't actually have an API, so I will just work with the state. But usually you will be triggering some API calls, right? And do whatever things you have to do to check if the user is logged in. So let's define my function first one, which is logging. And that will be equal to a function. And for now, all what we'll do is set is authenticated to true. Okay. And here, usually, like I said, that's where you do your API call or whatever, check your cookies or anything to know if the user is logged in. Now, the next function we need to define is logout. And that will be equal, again, a function that we set for us to is authenticated to false. And same thing here in real time, you'll do, do whatever checks API call or check your cookies or whatever to know if the user is logged in or not. And then you set the setter function to false if it's not. Now, next thing is return. So we return our provider. So it will be auth context. And we can access a something called provider. So this is the context we created up here in lane 10. Okay. So we're accessing the provider within that context. And you can pass values here basically. Okay. As a property. And you can pass anything you want. We know through the app we want to access to three things. The is authenticated, the login, and the logout. So I'll pass those as a values here. So I'll say is authenticated. I want also login and I want also logout. And then we can close our provider. And here we'll pass on the children that are wrapped within our provider. Okay. Now that is done. Now, next thing we want to do is create a hook that will use this use context so it's easy for us to use through our app. So I will go back, I'll create a hooks folder. And inside the hooks folder, create a new file which is called use auth. And if you're not familiar with custom hooks, hooks basically they help us, you know, to add whatever logic within these hooks and then use them within our component. And always use the use keyword in the beginning. Again, if you're still confused about this, I have a full tutorial somewhere in my channel. Feel free to check it out, which explains really how this works. So we're creating the use auth.ts. And all what I will do there is 
define a, a function which call use auth and then I'll import the use context from react okay and also import this auth context that we created so first I have to go here and export it and make it available to my app so I'll go right there and just import it and this hook what it does is very simple it just have access to your context okay and return it back and if you check if that context is not available then throw error to your users that you are not within your context okay so that is out of the way now this may be too much so first is a quick recap so the auth context basically it just stores whether the user is logged in okay then the auth provider it wraps your app and shares the state with all the components which are children of this provider then the use auth is a custom hook to easily access that auth data whenever we want within our application now we will create a protected route component and this is where the whole magic happens it checks if user is logged in if not it redirects them to the login page now let's go have fun so we'll go to our component and what i will do i'll create a new component there which is called protected route.tsx okay and here what we will do of course we have to import well navigate from react router dom and i don't have it installed so i have to go ahead and install it so i'll just copy this command here go back to my app open my terminal built in or feel free to open any terminal you like and i will just install the react router dom of course you're using routes so because we're using only vit so we will be using the react router dom now we go back to our component that we created here and what I will do, I will import navigate from React DOM and this one will help us to navigate between the routes. And of course, I need to import the hook I created. So import use auth from the hook I created. So this one will help me to access my, um, my context that I created. Now, next thing I want to do is define my component that will handle the authentication for me. Okay, so I'll close the terminal. I'll make this a little bit smaller so it's easy for you to see everything. So this is our component. We call it protected route. You can call this again anything you like. And here I'm just defining the type of my component. So I'm saying type React functional component is expecting some props, which are just children. Okay, which are type of GSX, simple as that. Then inside my component, we are accessing our custom hook. Okay, and all what we are accessing here is is authenticated. So basically, this protected route will just check is the user authenticated or not. Okay, and this is authenticated is coming right from our context API check in here if you are authenticated then display the route otherwise navigate by default to the login page so very simple very easy now let me break down again this so is authenticated tell us if the user is logged in then if they are not we are redirecting them to slash login page using the react route navigate component Otherwise, we just show them the protected routes. So this is the core logic behind protected routes. All this magic is just happening right here. And because we use custom hooks and context API in different files, so our components are more better structured and easier to read. And if you have to do any unit test as well, this will be much easier for you to test too. Now, next thing is to we have to wire up our app a little bit okay and we have to add our route and what i will do i will go back to the root of my project which is app.tsx and what we'll do here we'll define the routes okay and all grab our application within the auth provider so we created that auth provider but we didn't wrap our app yet with it okay so we go to, we go to our root of our application right here and first thing what i will do is import few things from the react router dom we will need them for the route and also i'll import the auth provider that we created earlier 
so import auth provider from auth context and also import our protected routes so import protected routes that we created too and then we'll create also some pages later okay which is the login and the dashboard i didn't create them yet but i will do later so i'll just add them right there now next thing is we have to wrap our app as i said within that auth provider so auth provider will be on the top then inside all our app will be running we'll do the router so that to define the routes within our application and here basically now we just defined the routes so all what we're doing here basically is just define two routes one is for the login page which take you to the login page here right and the path is slash login then we have the second route which is slash dashboard and that is the one we want it to be protected okay so what we do we don't just pass directly the dashboard component but we wrap that dashboard component within the protected routes component so basically what we'll do before this dashboard runs it would go first and run the parent and check really if you're logged in or not if you are it will show you the child element otherwise it will reroute you or redirect you to the login page as we are doing right here okay now next thing i have to do basically is just create this two page and then we can go ahead and test it so to, so you don't see me typing the login page and dashboard i have been creating this behind the scene so what i have done i just created a pages folder and then i created a login page right here and this is very simple and straightforward basically all what we have done is again use our custom hook that's give us access to our context api we created earlier and also we imported the use navigate from react router dom which will help us to navigate between the routes okay and all what we are doing is just uh, displaying a login message okay so we can say a login page you can say a login page okay and then we have a button that if you click then all what it does it just um try to log in you in using the login function from our custom hook and of course if that is successful then you just navigate to slash dashboard page okay and the dashboard page also is very simple just displaying some static text right here for us now let's go ahead and check if this is working as expected so because we didn't handle the slash route alone so we can see a blank page but that's okay that's not the purpose of today's video now i'm not logged in so i will go ahead and try to access the dashboard directly okay and let's see what will happen so as soon as i do that if you remember we have our protected routes wrapping within our wrapping our dashboard okay and that protected routes basically it checks that we are not logged in then it's taking us actually to the login page immediately so that's what happened at the moment we try to access the slash dashboard now i will go i'll try to log in so okay click login and as soon as i click login you can see it took me now to the dashboard page successfully and that is the functionality we have right here okay so i click the button it authenticates me and then it's because it was successful it went and take me to the dashboard page okay and, and that is it way. folks you have Happy built coding. now a secure app with the protected routes using vit and high script so you have learned now how to manage authentication with context api and also how you can create reusable protected routes component that you can wrap any protected route you want within this one and then you securely navigate between pages